I feel like we all reach points in our faith where subhanAllah, we begin to give up on ourselves. I don't feel like I'm ever going to be a good Muslim or even a satisfactory one. Now there's a thought that I wanna share, so hear me out. But to build context, there are many ahadith that I need to share with you. Firstly, there is no one that sincerely testifies to the oneness of Allah and that the Prophet wasallam is his last and final messenger, except that they will be entered into paradise. If you pray two rakat with full focus, then you get all of your sins forgiven. All sins committed from one umrah to another are forgiven. If hajj is accepted, then you are promised paradise. You get all of your sins forgiven during Ramadan. Fasting the optional fasts of shawal is like fasting the whole year. All of the five daily prayers that you pray in between Jummah prayers and Ramadans are forgiven except for major ones. When you make wudu, when you clean yourself, you are cleaning off all of the sins that that body part committed. Now, hear me out. Casinos are extremely nefarious in that they rig all probabilities, the way the games work, they take advantage of your psyche so that they get all of the money at the end of the day. It's extremely predatory and this concept is called house always wins. But subhanAllah, Allah is doing the exact opposite. Allah has rigged this game, this life for us so that we can find all, we have all these options for his mercy. Come on, man, you know what, astaghfirullah. Casinos are haram, I know that, but you get the point of what I'm trying to say. So if all of this is true, then why are we losing hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I want you to think about that. And if not for yourself, then for me, man, you're making me do all these dang research and all these dang sources, man, come on. But in all seriousness, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the straight path and never straying away from his mercy. I mean.